Good evening. This is the Elliott Wave update for the S&P 500 for Tuesday, January 11th, 2022. The market does continue to follow uh, my expectations and the Elliott count that I am currently working. And so let's just do a quick update. Everything is going according to plan, number one. So let's do a quick review and just kind of update what the last uh, today's session put in. I am counting an intermediate degree fifth wave up. It's an advance. Within that, there are going to be five waves of minor degree. So far, we have completed minor wave one and minor wave two. Minor wave two completed at yesterday's lows. From that level, we have entered into a minor third wave. Again, third waves are often, most often, the strongest and the longest segment within a five wave structure. That's what we're entering in and it's going to subdivide. So what I was looking for today was of course a continuation and getting up to the hourly 200 moving average. And it did that, in fact, it's flirting with it right now, which is perfect. So what I'm viewing that as is wave one of three. So if we're in this third wave rally, then I think this area completed just wave one of three. We do a pullback, maybe back down to 46.95, maybe back as low as 46.83. Likely holding above that 20, which is at 46.72. The 20 and the 50 on the hourly are sitting right there. But the moving averages are turning higher. And if we pull back and then go through that 200, it's going to add a, an additional boost. Because think about this. What it's going to be doing is an, an additional one and two, of course, of a larger wave. <clears throat> but here is one. If we get two, then it'll launch very similarly as it already has done. But it will be strong as well. And so if we pull back, breaking back above 47.15, first of all, clearing the 200 moving average, no problem. Getting above 47.15, no problem. Next area which we would take a look at is 47.48 up to 4,800. Now that would be part of this larger third wave, but it's going to be the three of three move. So it's the third wave within the third wave. And I think that's the one that will get us very close to 4,800. And then we get additional pullbacks. Now, here's the alternate view. Same type of a move. We should end up back up close to here. But if it fails and comes shooting back down, it will leave a three-wave structure up. We'll work that. But wherever this ends and the pullback begins, it's it, as a complete third wave, it then cannot break back below 46.87. So as it gets higher, if it reverses and breaks back below 46.87, then actually it's going to come here, yeah, 46.87, then it just leaves that three waves up. So, it, it, and why I'm presenting this now is because we have upside, we have downside, and the, do, the upside move is the one that continues to adhere to what I'm labeling and perform accordingly. So until that changes, the preferred is that it's one, two, and we're in a third. And within that, I believe we just completed the wave one of three. We're gonna have a wave two of three pullback, a wave three of three launch. Should be some really good trading. Here are our uh, resistance areas. We have 47, that, the 200, right? Then we have 47.15. 47.49 to 50, 47.75-ish, and then 4,800. So 47.97 up to 48.08. And I think that that's going to be a major level where another decision about, okay, buyers, how strong do you want to get in, and what, what, uh, what will back you up and, and doing a push like that. At this juncture, it's still technical for me. So there may not be a balance between what should support it and what will. So that's why 
I get back to that mindset and I'm telling you, just locking out the noise, locking out the noise so you can focus on the price action. The price action is what's gonna really give you the trades that you wanna trade because you're supporting it technically. You've got your resistance and your support. And if it breaks, technically, this is what it's telling you. So if you wanna be a fundamental trader, well, that's a whole different ball of wax. And you need, if you're trading and in that respect, you're gonna be bouncing around like they are. You still should use Elliott Wave because you're gonna know when you're gonna get a pullback and when you can expect another rally. So in that basis, to, to satisfy the fundamentals, it, it, if this is left up as a three, then something's gonna knock it out of, the, out of the park, but back to the downside. So technically, I, it leaves a three-way structure up and I would be looking for a move. What would confirm it is again, a break back below the 200, back below the other moving averages. Then, yeah, follow the direction. But right now, it's following suit in terms of getting itself up there. So at a minimum, I am looking for a decent third wave and likely to come up here, back up towards those highs. Then it's decision time all over again. Do we push to new highs? Do we kind of just hang out up here and consolidate a little bit? Makes no difference. For tomorrow, I would expect that we're likely going to get that pullback uh, prior. So we'll get it possibly overnight within the globex session. And then we should start to continue to see the rally. As we progress further into the month of January, I believe that we are getting additional money. Money comes in, 401k placements, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that the upside should continue. I feel that the upside should continue according to what the price action is telling you. It was a very solid, decent rally today. The S&P ended up of 42. And that's a decent rally. And that's exactly what we were looking for. It got up to what I was expecting, the 200-day. Look for the pullback. Look for continuation. Breakdown from here. Again, still only leaves us in, in three waves. It's going to be an ABC. And it was a very sloppy, thin, short-sighted C wave. But it can be. What's going to be the, the keys? The key is that we start to break and we break below 46.74. That's, that's likely going to start to leave us in a more negative position of where we're going to probably retest 46.27. And then from there, breaks there, bring us back down to here. And continue breaks put this into a little bit of a jeopardy. It's like, okay, maybe that's an ABC. This is an ABC as well. This turns into an X wave and we get another, another ABC down to finish wave two, but then they can't go beyond 45-20. So we do have a lot of areas where would kill the rally. And now I've just kind of put that in a little bit of a picture. That is not what I'm expecting. I am expecting it to come back down, hold above 46.72, and then continue to rally, getting up closer to 4,800 before I see another little bit larger pullback. So I'm going to leave it there. Give it both sides and just keep your eye on moving averages. Keep your eye on the price action. The buyers were strong today. They hung out. They continued to move it. There were intraday. There were dips. There were slides without question and all were tradable but the primary moves the force of the moves were to the upside that's where i'm going to leave it our next update will be on wednesday january the 12th